Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed and today we are here exploring Ocean Beach in San Francisco, California. I've been wanting to come to Ocean Beach for a very long time, actually since like when I started making these videos. This was one of the first places that I wanted to come uh, and check out, but We've been going through winter, so it's been really bad weather. It's been really foggy and raining, so not the best conditions to come to the beach. But today, I saw a ray of sunlight come into my room and I thought to myself, today is the day. Today, we are coming to Ocean Beach and checking it out. So this is Ocean Beach. As you can see, it's a beautiful beach here in San Francisco. And today, there's a lot of people uh, here um, even though it's not the best weather as you can see in the distance there's still some fog so it's not completely clear I'm making my way over to the sign as you can see Ocean Beach the objective for today's video is very simple we are simply walking from the south end of the beach all the way to the north side and uh, throughout this walk I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a few things about Ocean Beach especially some of my favorite things overall I just want to have a good time with you guys so if you guys are interested come with me Beach has to be one of the easiest things that you can do here in San Francisco you simply have to head west and you'll get here uh, right now we're in the south end of the beach but as you can see there's still a lot of beach that way which is south uh, so we're not all the way at the end uh, we're actually in at one of the points where there's a parking lot there are actually two parking lots here at the beach so let me show you this one right here this one is on the south side and the other one is on the north part of the of the beach if we cross the street here uh, let me show you real quick if you cross the street in the south end of the beach you can get to the san francisco zoo so now you know if you're ever in san francisco and in this particular area you can not only visit the beach but also the san francisco zoo are really close by however that's not the reason why we are here for so let's head back it's so cool that the road is closed i'm sure if you drive it sucks look over there there's like people just walking there's bikers and there's no like danger of getting run over by a car so i think it's pretty legit these right here are the sand dunes and not a lot of people thinks about them or talks about them uh, but i in my opinion these these sand dunes are the best location where you can get the best views of the beach itself especially when uh, the sun sets at the end of the day it's beautiful i usually just come here uh some days i run from my house I, I don't live oh i just fell for a second there but uh what i was saying is that i run from my house i actually don't live far from here so i know this area pretty well um, sometimes i just come at the end of the day and i run here and then i try to climb all the way to the top of these sand dunes and then just sit down and watch as the sun sets in the horizon so that's where the sign is if you cross the street over there we went to the zoo then you can see from the top of the sand dunes the rest of the beach and as you can see it keeps going and we're going all the way to the end over here there's kind of like like the edge of the top of this like section of the beach this is a place where a lot of uh, i think kids specifically they jump to the sand and i know that sounds crazy but let me kind of show you so that you understand there's like an edge right like this is a top area and that's the like the bottom area and people or kids they just throw themselves into this side and they roll around and they do this for for a long time so i'm switching my camera this is my gopro right here and uh, i'm gonna jump with this one hopefully you can hear me okay i know it's kind of windy and the gopro is not the best for sound but uh i'm just gonna go ahead and do it okay let's do this And just like that we made it to the bottom i kind of want to get uh in the ocean over there 
Um, I don't think I'll get like full, like my full body, but I, at least my, my feet. And I kind of want to take this baby on the road. But first, I'm just going to take off my shoes real quick. So the shoes are off and we're heading to the ocean. It's actually really cold. Like, oh my God. I see people like with little kids and everything and they're just chilling like in the waist, but it's so cold. Oh my God. Like my feet are, oh, this is going to hurt. Ah, oh my God, guys. It's so freaking cold. <laughs> my goodness guys it's so cold i think i'm heading back too much it's so cold i didn't realize i'm going back because mama didn't raise no chump i actually don't want to be in the cold uh, i i thought i was getting used to but no like it stinks but i do want to show you some cool shots of the waves kind of like coming this way uh, with the gopro and kind of like maybe underwater shots so let's do this to the north side of the beach before I get too distracted right here. So as you've been able to see, there's a lot of different things to do here at Ocean Beach. Um, as you guys have seen, there's a lot of people running, jogging, or simply walking. Some people come here and play with their dogs. Other people come here with friends to have picnics or simply chill, enjoy the sun, and listen to some cool music. There's other people who are flying kites and a lot of people surf here as well, which is kind of what I want to talk to you about next. The currents here are very unstable, which makes the uh, conditions of this place very dangerous for swimmers. There's a few signs uh, across the, the beach telling people not to to go too deep in the in the water due to the strong currents that could pull you inside and then uh, maybe kill you there's actually been cases I think one of the latest ones was in 2016 this old lady she was just like swimming on like the deep side of the shore and unfortunately she got pulled in and uh, she died definitely not a place to mess around so now you know guys if you're ever in San Francisco and here at Ocean Beach do not underestimate this waves and this currents because bad things have happened in the past and look what I found here this is a dead crab but it looks like it's still in one piece let me see if I can flip it over it's still in one piece but it's definitely dead seagulls doing their thing there's more over here as you can see what you see right there is a couple of dog owners just playing with their dogs you know just a wholesome little activity don't you think well think again because they might be the reason why a specific bird might be going extinct of course i'm just being sarcastic but there is this debate it's regarding dog owners and uh whether or not they should keep their dogs and pets and leashes and that's because a lot of the dogs here just go ahead and chase around like the different birds here in the area and uh, I, I can see them right now but there's a specific kind of bird it's called the snow clover or clover I'll put a picture here and uh, this bird usually comes here uh, to, to eat whatever the current is bringing here to the shore and uh, they can't do that sometimes because the dogs are just like chasing them around and they usually don't like catch the bird but uh, they do get them tired so whenever they're trying to like make their nest or whatever they don't have the energy 
So that's the reason why a lot of them go without shelter and probably die. So there's like specific sections of the beach where you can have your dog without a leash. I don't think this is one of them. It might be like, I don't know, I'm just not gonna get into it. You have to be very careful, I guess, because they do give out tickets for this. If you're thinking of bringing your pet here, know what the specific re regulation for that is. These are the birds that I was talking about. The wave is gonna come and they're eating whatever is like left over uh, from the wave. And then they go back and they keep doing this until I guess they're full. But sometimes the dogs just come here and they just scare them away. Look at them go, they're so fast. They're so freaking fast, look at them go. <laughs> So I came up this little sand dune to show you that we made it to the kind of level of the Golden Gate Park. So we walked a long way since we started and we finally made it to the height of Golden Gate Park right here. In this bottom section, uh, there's something that I want to show you. If you are a fan of the channel, you've seen my intro for my videos. And uh, in my intro, I show myself like walking in front of different like locations. I actually recorded two of those clips here at Ocean Beach. One of them being the graffiti. And I want to see if I can find it. I know it's like way up over there. Remember the bird that I told you guys about earlier? Well, this is it. It's the snowy plover. And I found a sign right here. It's just a sign telling people, especially dog owners, when the dogs should be uh, leashed here at Ocean Beach and also the specific dates when that has to happen. And down here, it shows you like the area that is uh, designated as the snowy plover protection area. And it's basically from parking lot to parking lot. So it's <laughs> the entire beach, basically. This area right now, it's full of people. This is definitely the area where you have to be if you want to meet new people and have some fun. But I was wondering why there were so many people on this side of the beach, but it's because of the bonfires. Like, I started seeing some people uh, starting their fires, like these people right here. And uh, they have like, they're like, they look like different tribes and they have like their own like water and like snacks and stuff. But yeah, and I've seen some people creating their own like fire pits. They just dig a hole in the ground and they start a fire like that. Look at that one right there. And then a lot of people actually making their own. We are almost there, you guys. I'm gonna call it right now and say that the last wall covered in graffiti over there marks the end of Ocean Beach. That's because that over there, that is the cliff house. And that is the start of something completely different. I'm gonna call it, this is the end. As I told you before, I was looking for the, the wall with graffiti that comes out in my intro and I actually found it. The thing is that there's actually a person sitting right there. I don't know if you can see, which kind of sucks. I wanted to take a picture. Let's just move on to the other one. The second clip that I included is uh, those rock formations. I don't know if you can really see, there's a lot of uh, shine and like light from the sun. They were a good choice because as you see over there, I don't know if it's a couple or like they're gonna marry or they're going to prom or whatever, but they taking pictures right there with those rocks in the background. So I think I made a wise decision with that. That right there is the one that I told you guys about, which marks the finish line and makes this video complete. I'm so happy and I'm so tired, you guys. But the video is not over yet. And that's because I want to make things right or in the right way and show you guys the sunset. We still have like 30 minutes, 40 minutes of the sun still there. Hopefully I get like a time lapse, like a cool time lapse of it so I can show you guys at the end. But uh, that is all from me guys. It was so much fun bringing you guys along 
it's always fun you should definitely stay for my next videos and uh, if you do want to see that make sure to like this video uh, subscribe to my channel and share it with someone that you might think might like it also remember guys to always be kind have an open mind we'll see you next time